season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. This is Brian Anderson alongside Doris Burke and Grant Hill. We'll check in with Allie LaForce in a moment. But first, our special guest this evening, former Female Athlete of the Year, Candace Parker. Hey, Candace. Hey, thanks, BA. I'm a big fan of your show. Great to have you with us. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Dwight Howard. Eric Gordon is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Williams in at the point guard position. And for the Warriors, they've got Tyler Hero. And it's Parker in at the one. Stoudemire, checked by Davis. The shot by Stoudemire, no good. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And it's blocked. It's an even three-on-three -three break. And he tamps it home with authority. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Parker outside. Driving to the basket. Up and in on the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Gordon can't hit. And Davis gets double teamed. Pass to Russell. Step back shot, and the jumper falls for him. Well, Candace, in women's basketball, a lot of players play overseas when the WNBA isn't in season. It could add to your income, and a lot of players need that income, of course. Can you talk about that aspect of the WNBA versus overseas and where we're going with that? Yes, overseas is honestly where you make your living. Um, for 10 years, I played year-round from WNBA season October to April, I would go to Russia, and then I would come back and play in the WBA season again. So it definitely is a grind, but this is the WBA is honestly the summer job. Um, playing overseas really does benefit your career. How about the toll on your body that it took? It had to have had a great toll over the years. Yeah, rest. What is rest, BA? I don't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Just three to shoot. Hero with the bucket. This guy a tough this cover for any cover. defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Here's Stoudemire. Second shot opportunity. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. I think he's got to settle down. Because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Not everyone has the green light to take that three in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. On target from range. Three. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Hero. From downtown, the rebound by Stoudemire. Gone three of eight to get things underway. All right, Candace, I know you grew up a Chicago Bulls fan. Miles Who was your favorite player on those legendary Bulls teams not named Michael Jordan? Well, you know, I loved following the Bulls, especially in the 90s. That was when I fell in love with basketball. Um, but there was a guy named Ron Harper that I really enjoyed watching. I think that he was a huge piece in their championship run. And, um, you know, before he joined the Bulls, he used to give number 23 a, a couple battles when he was the cast. I thought you might go with Dennis Rodman for a minute. That's a good one, too. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Russell, soft touch off the glass. Russell's got seven. Well, an excellent penetrator who is always in attack mode. Go ahead, D'Angelo Russell. Pass to Stoudemire. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. 
They get it again. Second chance shot. Oh, and he got Wait, fouled on foul. his way up. He'll head Dwight to the Howard. line to shoot two. First personal foul. Dwight First Howard picks foul. one up. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Now here's Gordon. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Davis. Here's Hero. Nice D from Bridges. Gotten five of 11 shots to go. Inside. Blocked. And they're able to recover. Williams from long range. The offensive rebound. And it's Howard finishing it off. His entire career, Dwight Howard has been an absolute force on the glass. Nice finish. Parker against Howard. Devox takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Well, Candace, this is a question I'm sure you've heard before. But growing up, was there a player or players who you had in your game after? Well, honestly, I was the biggest Allen Iverson fan. So I was the, you know, the center that was going out in the game trying to throw passes like AI, trying to dribble and get that crossover. So I really loved watching AI growing up. And C. Webb was another player. I loved his versatility. I loved his ability to get to the basket. Um, so I, I'd say it's those two. Nice. Matched up. Here's Stoudemire. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Here's Parker with the drive. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And here's Gordon from the arc. Second chance effort. And Howard with the lay-in. Howard's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, guys, the powerful physical frame of Dwight Howard. So problematic for a defense. Two minutes remaining. Here's Parker. Drills it from deep. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Shooting an impressive 47%. And it's Howard off the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Howard's got eight. <laughs> he still has it missed. Four for four to start the game. Pass to Divac. Ooh, Howard with a block. There's a reason Dwight Howard has so many old defensive teams to his credit. Good night with the block. The shot by Stoudemire, no good. No question who's in control of the board so far. Williams against Russell. Here's Divac. Pass to Hero. Outside Russell. Five to shoot. From behind the arc. Gordon pulls it in. Stolen by Russell. In transition. Here they come. The shot that time not on target. Howard with some nice D. Three-pointer. Bridges. Gets the three to fall. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Parker against Williams. Outside for Russell. Again, Russell missing. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Sinks the tray. Give him eight points now. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. And the Warriors shooting only 42% to get this one going. Williams against Parker. Pass to Divac. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. It's intercepted. With one on the clock. No good. The baskets were coming early and often in the first quarter. Up by six. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. 
And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? They've got D'Angelo Russell, and it's Parker in at the one. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. We've got Dwight Powell. He's out there with Isaiah Hardenstein. And it's Williams in at the point. You just have to love that grit and effort on the glass. No problems battling for the basketball. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my household. Um, it was a unique Jason experience, Williams. one that I Three am points. very happy to have been a part of. Um, just in terms of what that season meant to the WNBA and just in sports and social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, not again. Well, the WNBA crowned a champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social justice movement. I'll tell you, I'd love to see someone take the contact head on. And Norman Powell welcoming the challenge. Parker right side. And he drops it in from the low post. Parker's gotten his third basket of the night. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Williams from long range. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got five rebounds in the game. And Williams over to help. Pass to Davis. And here's Hero. Driving in. Powell pulls it in. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Williams from long range. Connects from downtown. Williams. Williams has got six in the quarter. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Russell against Powell. Puts it up from 12. Kept alive. Devox, good. Give him eight points now. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. The shot's good. Candice, you're one of the most versatile low post players to ever play the game. Now that's something that's becoming the rule instead of the exception. Yes, you got to be versatile in the low post. And that means being able to face up. That means being able to be physical and finishing around the basket. So important. Parker with it. He's against Hardenstein. They get it back. Outside for Russell. Hits the three-pointer. Russell's got ten points. As important as spacing is in today's game, point guards must have the deep shot as part of their arsenal. D'Angelo Russell, nicely done. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Parker against Powell. Parker outside. Pass to Hero from the high post. And that one comes up a bit short. Gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Powell. And down it goes. Two points. That's about great concentration. Dwight Powell under duress of the defense finishes nonetheless. Here's Divac. Hero outside. Drives to the hoop. There's the block. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Yes, He's been playing Jason great Williams. unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Now here's Hero. Pass to Divac. Can't get it to fall gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Powell left side. Beyond the arc. Counted from distance. Nine points in the game. And you knew you loved basketball early on, but when did broadcasting come into the picture, Candace? Yeah, I grew up with two older brothers, and all we did was debate on our couch watching basketball. So honestly, um, I'd like to say I've been broadcasting since I can remember, but to have an opportunity to broadcast along some of the icons in the game, players that I grew up with, and like you yourself, just listening to all the time, uh, it's, it's a huge opportunity, I definitely know. 
substitution for the and the brothers would add, Candace loves to talk. <laughs> they told you to say that, huh? They put you up to that. That shot's good by Parker. Plays like that, so easy for him. Here's Williams. It's deflected. They recover it. Another shot. Yep, count it. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been oh, sensational. Well, I'm after a less line. than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Parker outside. Deflected! It's Powell on the wing. Nine points in the game. That one goes in. Powell. Powell's got 11 points in the quarter. Put it on the deck, get by the defender. Norman Powell on the dribble drive. Okay, I see you. Pass to D-Box. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Parker outside. Tries to break his ice. Hero for three. That's another miss. One for seven in this contest. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Powell against Parker. Back to Williams. Three-pointer off the mark. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Here's Stoudemire. He has six. Well, Candace, always great to get your take on things. Great to have you on the broadcast tonight. It's an honor and privilege to sit next to you guys. Thanks so much for having me, Brian. Now here's Parker. Pass to Davis. Hero outside. They get the rebound. d -box. Stolen! Davis with a rebound. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Just one of six this quarter. Trying to shoot his way out of this funk. Shooting 56% today. Williams from long range. No good on the shot. And the Warriors shooting just 32% here in the second. Puts it up from 17. No good. A bit long that time. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Goes back up. And the layup Jason is good. Williams. Williams has got eight points in the quarter. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. It's Parker on the attack, and the layup is good off the glass. Powell against Hero, and he drives in. Powell's shot is off. One second left. Doesn't go for him. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. Leading by 17. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, if you're wondering why this game is a blowout, let me tell you why. They cashed in on second chance opportunities. They followed their shots, kept after it. They were unwilling to let possession fly. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. First of all, where's the intention of this? When a team's punking you like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. Nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. With the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be.
the Warriors shooting just 37% so far in this one. They've got Tyler Hero, and it's Davis in at the four spot. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Williams has got four shots to go in 12 attempts. It's Parker on the attack. Russell from outside. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. In catch-and-shoot situations, you've got to be balanced and in control. Mr. Russell, well done. Going inside, Williams passes to Howard. And we're going to have a jump ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Over to the wing. Here's Stoudemire. It's rebounded by Divac. To the middle. And Davis slams it home. Davis. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Gordon on the take. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Here's Hero. He got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Parker finds Russell. Offensive board. Here's Divac. Outside Russell. Up and over Gordon. They had a number of cracks at it. Just came away empty-handed. Pass to Williams. For three. Russell with the rebound. Well, an over three start to the half. You need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. Boy, when you think about D'Angelo Russell, he gets such incredible shot creation. This guy can attack from close or from range. He's got versatility in how he goes about producing points. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Hero against Williams. Davis, the pass to Russell. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Russell's got 15. And with Russell, there is no easy answer for how to defend him, Doris. Yeah, you forget the size he brings to the guard position. Six foot four and faster than most players. Russell can do a lot of damage no matter who is checking him. Now here's Hero. He's got five. And Davis slams it home. Terrific energy at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Coming out of the floor for the away team, Dwight Powell. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. And finished Man, off by Davis. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Now here's Williams. 13 points in the game. Listen, he's a confident player, but if you're going for that kind of finish, you better finish it. And Dwight Howard picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Substitution for your Warriors. Greg Ostertag. Kenrich Williams. On defense, the visiting team. They led the game at one point by 20. Oh, nice shot by Ostertag. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Huda got a decent clip. 45% for the game. And he stepped on the line, so they turn it over. The Warriors have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. To the inside. It's stolen by Howard. To stop the drought. And Eric Gordon gets the whistle that time. First that's his first foul, foul of the game. First team and that's foul. two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. 
Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Outside, Williams. Pass to Russell. Williams against Davis. Clock at six. Fades. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough Four trouble. Foul. Well, Powell really One using is. that length of his draw fouls. Great anticipation from the young pig. They've been in a great rhythm as of late, and they really want to continue this run as long as they can. Count it. Russell's got seven points here in the quarter. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? To the right side. Howard finds Gordon. No good from outside. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Jason Williams, first personal foul, second team foul. Russell against Gordon. Well, Dwight Howard staying engaged on the defensive end. Boy, does he make an impact. Miles Bridges, first personal foul, third team foul. Outside, Williams. Gordon on the wing. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one on Russell. Powell, he's checked in for Gordon. Now here's Russell. 19 points in the game. Again, Russell missing. Powell against Russell. Powell passes to Howard. Reporter Bridges buries it from three. Bridges has got 11 points. Well, what a nice pass by Dwight Howard there on time and on target. Pass to Ostertag. Howard with some nice D. Russell against Powell. Some solid defense from Russell. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Drops in the three. Russell's got 12 points here in the second half. Well, to me, this is where D'Angelo Russell distinguishes himself. He understands that when he can score it, he's going to be aggressive. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. And the Warriors shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. An open look for Russell. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Russell's got 24 points. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Here's Powell. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Oster tag can't hit. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard. Oh, okay then. And he's now got the double-double. It is so hard to guard Dwight Howard when he's attacking like this. You love the initiative from the veteran center. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. <laughs> and D'Angelo Russell looking at his career. He's slowly becoming a more efficient player. Learning his strengths and his limitations. Russell, he's still a volume scorer, but now I think he's better at picking the spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. Russell buries it down low. He's got 26. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Driving inside. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Shooting around 44%. Not bad. Here's Williams. Oh, denied by Harold. Montrez Harold, such a sharp defensive player, reads the opponent and sends it back.
Howard against Harrell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. Well, Dwight Jason Howard's Howard. massive frame makes him a problem on the team. interior. Good job drawing contact. Parker, he's checked in for Williams. Now here's Hero. He's got five. Here's Parker. Ooh, Howard with a block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Howard. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Hero. Oh, he's finally able to knock one down. Hero's got his third basket on the night right there. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Might be a good idea to run the clock. Hold it for the last shot. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe wow. that. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Up top, Parker takes a 13-footer. No good. Off the front rim. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. Up by two. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. To the wing on the left. Powell against Russell. Here's Hardenstein, and he gets that one. Isaiah Hardenstein's got his first basket. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. And Harold throws it down. All too easy for Montrez Harold. That's the result of his activity and pursuing opportunities. Beautifully done. Ooh, Harold with the denial. Misses the layup. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Substitution for your Warriors. And the Warriors shooting at about 44% so far. And a deep three from Russell. From outside, off the mark. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Boom! He jams it straight down. Ooh! Putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Graham. Pass to Divac. Back to Russell. And rejected. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Powell. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. It's Parker on the attack. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Hartenstein. Back to Williams. Ooh, Harrell with the denial. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got four rebounds now. There's the drive. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. 
That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The Warriors have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Russell from outside. And they'll get another chance. A rebound by Stoudemire. Here's Powell. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. Well, this guy very capable of capitalizing close to the rim. Norman Powell making an impact inside. The open shot by Parker with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. Parker's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Outside, Williams. 4-3. Excellent D there from Parker. He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. And there's the drive. And that one drops That's for him. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Tipped. Here's Hardenstein. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Russell to pass to Parker. Here's Divac. Basket's good. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Here's Williams. Powell, left side. Here's Hartenstein. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hartenstein's gone two of four from the field. Outside Russell. Shoots over Powell. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Russell's got 28. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. And that one drops. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive, attacking and coming away with steals. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. It's Powell on the wing, guarded by Russell. Here's Stoudemire. Nails it from beyond the arc. Well, you love to see Norman Powell be unselfish and find an open teammate. That's pretty. Hey, we've seen Norman Powell really having a great game. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Tiger Lou address the team. He said to them, quote, we've worked hard to come back. We have them on the ropes, but we have yet to land the knockout blow. We'll see if they can. Back to you. Great work, Ali. Thanks. And for the Warriors, they're shooting around 44%. Not bad. It's kept alive! d -box. Oh, it's no good! That would have tied it. Gone 7-14 to 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Here's Stoudemire. And Hero grabs the board. And the Warriors shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. Here's d -box. Kicks it to Hero. Pass to Divac. Shot clock at six. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got six assists in the game. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Parker against Williams. Now here's Howard. against Williams. Parker passes to Davis. Parker, no good. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same, and largely a no-show right here. 
Pass to Stoudemire. Back to Williams. The three-pointer off the mark. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. It falls! And tie game! Huge basket right there! Big time shot, sending his teammates into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Hero against Bridges. Yes! Hey, they really needed that one. Big time move inside. He has the ability to score against size, and those were crucial. Here's Parker. Takes it inside. Yeah! Yes! And he's tied it up. What a shot! And that finally gets them back to even. Incredible fortitude to bounce back like this. I think we're setting up for an awesome finish. Here's Howard. Davis with the block. Cash. All right, guys, what do you think? More than enough time More to get a bucket. Time. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. Parker against Williams. Now here's Parker. Not a lot of room. Into the lane. It's good! A huge shot to tie it up! Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can... Oh! Wow! That's incredible! Come on now, guys. That's flat-out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? The visiting club takes the win on the road. And this was an emotional win for them, no doubt about it. <laughs> Just a fantastic accomplishment. You love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.